Madam Chair, India continues to remain concerned over the situation in Ukraine. The conflict has resulted in the loss of lives and misery for its people, particularly for the women, children and elderly, with millions becoming homeless and forced to take shelter in neighboring countries. Reports of attacks on civilians and civilian infrastructure are indeed deeply worrying. We are concerned about recent developments in the region which have not helped in securing the larger cause of peace and stability. I will add here that India has supported the efforts of the UN Secretary General in continuing the Black Sea Grain Initiative and hopes for an early resolution to the present impasse. We have consistently advocated, Chair, that no solution, no solution can ever be arrived at the cost of human lives. Escalation of hostilities and violence is in no one's interest. We have urged that all efforts be made for an immediate cessation of hostilities and an urgent return to the path of dialogue and diplomacy. The global order that we all subscribe to is based on international law, the UN Charter, and respect for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of all states. These principles must be upheld without exception. Dialogue, hence, is the only answer to settling differences and disputes, however daunting that may appear at the moment. The path to peace requires us to keep all channels of diplomacy open. It is also unfortunate, Chair, that as the trajectory of the Ukraine conflict unfolds, the entire Global South has suffered a substantial collateral damage. It is thus critical that the voice of the Global South be heard and that their legitimate concerns be duly addressed. India's approach to the Ukraine conflict, Chair, will continue to be people-centric. We are providing both humanitarian assistance to Ukraine and economic support to some of our neighbors in the Global South under economic distress, even as they stare at the escalating cost of food, fuel, and fertilizers, which has been a consequential fallout of the ongoing conflict. In light of my Prime Minister's repeated engagements with both sides, it is essential to emphasize that we firmly believe that this is not an era of war. It is with this understanding and spirit that India actively participates in this debate. Thank you.